Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well yesterday we put this little hover effect together. We've got an image and when we hover over it, a little blurb module comes sliding in from the left. Now we had a couple of questions. Somebody was asking what if we want to have it sliding in from the right? Well that's really easy. We can just change around whatever's on the left with the spacing and put it on the right and I'll do that. But they also ask, how about having one slide in from the top or the bottom? Again, this is really easy, but for this one, we actually have to just use one little line of code to give our column a fixed height. But don't let that put you off. I'll put the code down below and it's so simple. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Now I'm not going to go through building this all again. If you want to watch that video, I'll put the link below. I'm going to take it from where we left it yesterday and we'll start again from scratch. So I'm going to flip to wireframe mode, little purple button down the bottom and this little icon over here because we reposition our blurred modules. I'm going to get rid of that one. And what I'll do is I'll copy the one that we've got here and I'm just going to duplicate it a couple of times. I want to make sure my rows have all got overflow hidden to prevent us being able to see the blurb module spill outside. So we want to change that to hidden and hidden on this last one. I'm pretty sure it is on the middle one. Okay, that's great. Well, let's go into our first little blurb module here and we can switch back to regular mode whenever you're in your blurb. Okay, and this one right here, if we go over to our design where we left it yesterday into the spacing, if you want it to come in from the right, we just have to switch the right and left settings around on all of them. So let's switch this around. We're on the non-hover state at the moment. So I'm going to cut that, Control X, I'm going to pop it in there. I'm going to change this one to 30. Oh, I'm going to change this one to 500. Then let's go to our hover state on both. And again, I want to make that minus 500 a zero there. Make sure we're on the hover state for this one too. And we want to change that back to a 30. And that should do it. So now when we're on desktop state, we still got our image. When we hover over it, the image is going to slide in from the right rather than the left. So that was really easy. Slightly more difficult if we want it to either come up from the bottom or come down from the top. Let's go into our row and just add an image in our next column here. I know I've got a blurb module in there. Here's our little column. Here's our background. I'm going to add another image. Now this we're going to bring down from the top. Doesn't matter which image I use. Now while we're actually in the column, I'm going to add one little line of code because we're bringing it down from the top, we don't want this column shrinking up when the actual hover effect is happening. So I'm going to go over to advanced and we'll make sure that visibility is hidden. We did that just now. But I'm going to go into my custom CSS and here's going to, where I'm going to write my line of code. And it's one simple line in the main element box. I'm simply going to write height. I think we gave them 400, wasn't it? So 400 pixels semicolon. Great. And we can save that now. I'll put that little line down below just in case anybody needs to copy it. So we're good to go with the column. Now let's get back into our blurb. And again, we can't find it because it's positioned over here somewhere. So let's go back into the wireframe, get into our blurb, switch back. Okay, well, let's get this how we want it. I'm going to go into the design going to go down to our spacing, which is what we adjusted it all with. I'm going to reset all this. I'm going to get rid of that. So we've got nothing in there. I'm going to have 30 pixels all around. Let's go to the hover state. 30, 30, 30, that's fine. Zero, that's fine. It's got one 500 left there. Let's just delete that. Great, so we've got a regular blurb module right here over the top of our image. And what we want to do with this one, we want to push it way up here. Remember, overflow is hidden, so we won't see it when we push it up there. Then when we hover over it, we want it to come back down and be visible. 
let's just put a background in so we can see what's going on so I'm going to go back to the content the background let's give it a white background take the opacity down a bit so you can see the image behind it but still read the writing nicely that's okay great all right let's go back to our spacing and start adjusting design tab down the spacing okay I'm going to give it a margin on the top of negative 400 I may need more than that we'll try it let's try negative 400 pixels and as you can see it disappeared at the top that's actually okay great now we want to be able to trigger it and there's nothing here to trigger it with because it's hiding up here but if I give it a large amount of padding on the bottom so let's uncheck this chain let's give it 400 to start with on the bottom with the padding because what that's going to do is give it a bunch of padding on the bottom if I actually do it let's give it 400 you should see some of the white appear there it is we're going to need a whole lot more because we need to put our arrow of this to trigger it to bring it back down so i know this is 400 so i need about another 350. let's try 750 and see where that takes us almost let's call it an even 800. there we go that's great so actual writing and icons at the top there so now what we need to do is when we hover over it we want to bring everything back down so let's go to the hover state and remember common to most Divi modules when they got dark writing hover over the dark writing you'll see some icons if there's an arrow there we can set a regular state when your mouse is not it and a hover state your mouse is on it obviously so let's go over to the hover state now and we want to bring this back down so I want to change that margin to zero And that's all we have to do. I know there's loads of padding on the bottom, but we can forget about it because we've got our overflow hidden and that's going to bring that straight back down when we hover over it. And if you want to adjust your timing on that to slow it down or speed it up, go over to advanced, go to transitions. Here's the duration. I've set mine to 700 milliseconds. Don't want any delay. I want it to happen as soon as a mouse hits it. And I like to use the ease in ease out speed curve. They're all slightly different, so check them out. Different circumstances, some will work better than others. But for my hover effect, that's usually my go-to. So let's save this. I just want to check. Um, let's go into the background. Get this so we can see what's going on. For the desktop state, yeah, I now want to take that background away because I want to see that image fully. So for the desktop state, I'm going to hit the transparent little color down there. So we've got a proper image. Then when we hover over it and our blurb comes down, that's fine. I can see a bit of the image behind and we can see the blurb. So let's save and we should be good to go. Save the page changes and exit the visual builder. And let's go on down. And we've got our original sliding in from the left, our one that's sliding in from the right. And we now got one that's sliding in or down from the top I should say and of course to make it slide up from the bottom just switch those around switch the, the top settings to the bottom settings etc and you'll have one that slides in from the bottom so there you go guys there's an image to slide down blurb module on hover I hope you've enjoyed this today and I hope that answered those questions for you once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and web design and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day.